What's up, guys? This is Milltown Productions, and my name is Jace. And I am Brandon. I am Jason. And today we are watching another episode of The Last of Us. Yep. Another one. <laughs> episode um, six, right? Episode six, I believe. Yep. Yes. Are, are we just is. not getting the names? I don't know, because it just we just see episode six. Yeah. The name will be in the title, more than likely when I Google it, the name will be there. Yeah. Um, but we do not have the name at the moment. <laughs> Before we get into what happened in the last episode, be sure, feel free to like, comment, and subscribe on the video. And if you like it, like it. <laughs> yeah. And if you comment it, <laughs> comment. comment it. But well, make sure you subscribe. subscribe. <laughs> That's right. Last episode. Yes. Some some shit happened. Yeah. Um, yes. We lost a few people. A, 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 more than a few. That was a lot of people that died. A lot of people. Episode. A couple that we liked. Yeah. yeah. About two that we liked. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's a couple. <laughs> yeah. Usually. <laughs> that do be a couple. But we also lost Perry and... Kathleen. Kathleen. He's tricking Sorry, with the awnings. Short for Catherine. <laughs> yeah, according to Jason. <laughs> no, listen. Um, Shush. <laughs> I honestly was surprised that they died so soon. Because they, they were a new addition to the show. And I was like, oh, yeah. this is going to be something that they're going to roll with until... No. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. We got two episodes with them. Yeah. Which I mean, I guess I mean, barely two episodes. Yeah, I guess technically that fulfills what I was saying earlier. I was like, just give someone two episodes, God. Yeah. Well, I mean, <sighs> we did get you know two like five seconds of you know Sam and Henry in the fourth episode. <laughs> yeah. So we technically I did guess. get two episodes with Sam and Henry. Yeah, they might be in this one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like as a flashback or something. Yeah. yeah. To yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> well, they said, remember when? <laughs> <laughs> Obviously, we got a uh, very sad moment. Like, pretty much every episode of The Last of Us has tried to give us. Yeah, that one was. We're going to have PTSD by the time this is over. <sighs> i tell you what. That, yeah. The, this show is something. Yeah. Um, once again, like we always say, as an adaptation, it is very faithful. It does have its own things. But it is nearly flawless as yeah. an adaptation, in my opinion. Like, I can't think of, <clears throat> I can't think of a change that we that we have seen that I've gotten like really angry about. No, like there's so many shows that they take from a show, like a game or something, and they make a live action adaptation. And there's so many things in those live action a- adaptations that people always get so angry about. But in The Last of Us, I can't think of anything. No. Nothing at all. See, this is why they need to do stuff like this for books. You know, <laughs> instead of giving a book a movie, give it a miniseries to tell, to tell the story and actually tell the story how the book tells it. Yeah, yeah. That's how you should do it. They're doing it right here. But with all that said, most of it being by Jason, <laughs> let's get right into this episode. <gasps> Blam! Oh no! Come on! <laughs> Three episodes. We gotta we gotta watch it again. Uh, let's not. Let's not. It's gonna do it again. Are we gonna have to, <laughs> yeah. We're gonna have the jump to winter. Uh, if it does. Yeah. Oh, it did. Wow. Nice freaking call there. <laughs> yeah. Wow, bro. Nice what? call. How did we get winter here first? <laughs> How long have we been watching Game of Thrones? Wait. Oh my no, god. No, that means. Wait. No. No, cause. Wait Man. a minute. Don't be Ellie. Don't be Ellie. No. Okay. Okay. Like, they, there's no way they skip over that. <laughs> no. Who in the fuck is that actor? <laughs> oh, wait. Say something? There's someone here. She just did. She said it with her eyes. And the gun. Uh, Take the gun out. Two fingers only. Put it out of reach. Jesse James. Why did you shoot him? The gun's all the way over there. <laughs> he didn't hurt me, by the way. Yeah, I got eyes. He's got a girl with him. Can I come down? No. Joe, it's come on, you're like a thousand. Who's this little psycho? Never mind her. Anywhere people used to be, you can't go there no more. So you haven't heard the name Tommy? Nope. What about the fireflies? 
We get those in the summer. <laughs> the bugs, the people. There are firefly people? <laughs> <laughs> you got any advice on the best way west? Yeah. Don't go. go east. We never seen who's out there, but we see the bodies they leave behind. Bro, it's the cannibals. If your brother's west of the river, he's gone. You're not gonna scare us. You scared him? <laughs> what the hell? Joel, are you okay? Joel? Shut up. Holy shit, are you dying? Okay. Okay, okay. I'm fine. No, no, but are you? Because just a reminder that if you're dead, I'm fucked. Shut up, fine. Is he having a panic attack? Cold air. Up. <laughs> Why are you putting that on there? You're not counting. Oh, dude, oh. I don't want to see that so bad. I know, no, dude. No, no. Ah. Can I have some? <laughs> I mean, it would warm her up. Well, I mean, it's hard to like get closer to the fire. Yep. It's so gross. I can't drink that shit. You don't even well, know what's in it. it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You can do anything you want. Where are you going? What are you doing? An old farmhouse, some land. I would raise sheep. So just you and a bunch of sheep. Romantic. <laughs> Ew. You have to find the sheep first. And what about you? Where are you going to go? Old ranch, some land. <laughs> Boston. I tried with Sam. Tried what? I knew Damn. he was infected. I rubbed some of my blood into his bite. I know, I know, it was stupid, but I... I wanted to save him. Marlene, she's a lot of things, but she's no fool. If she says they can do it, they can do it. That's nice. Damn, they need a direct sample. <laughs> Falling asleep on duty, eh? Do you know that tracking a deer in the winter with snow is a hell of a lot easier than, you know, down here in Florida? Because, like, it could cover up tracks within a couple of seconds if it's fucking falling heavy enough. Or the dam? Okay, first of all. Dam. <laughs> so that made electricity? Yeah. That's pretty. Yeah. It must be up, Look like, that river. or something. It's crazy blue. Oh, yeah, I forgot. They're, like, up near Wyoming. Hey, Joel, what if this is the river of death? Do it look like river of death? Not the girl's cracky. <laughs> Get behind me. Drop the gun. Five steps back. How about we just talk this through? How about you shut the fuck up? Okay, easy. I'm trying to decide whether or not that's Troy Baker or not. If you're infected, he will smell it and he will rip you up. They trained him to smell the infected. Now her. That's interesting. <laughs> Just looking for my brother. It's all, nothing more. Hey. What's I your know name? Who that is. Hmm? I know who that Joel. girl is. Hmm. But I said something stupid a second ago. You know, there's a whole ass town. I know where this is. I know y'all do too. <laughs> Did they just have two extra horses on hand? Imagine just looking up and there's just a side of a mountain right there. Tommy! Hey. <laughs> I knew it was gonna happen. It's still giving goosebumps. <laughs> Is that motherfucking Terra? Yeah. <laughs> Bruh. <laughs> the fuck you doing here? I'm here to save you. <laughs> <laughs> she 
because I've never seen Joel like this. <laughs> I bet it makes her sad that he's not that way towards her. He doesn't need me anymore. She already cares about him. That is so weird. Man. I just know her from True Blood, so like... your hospitality and all. Yeah. But it'd be nice to have a moment here maybe just for family. Yeah. Maria is family, actually. Oh, shit. Congrats. <laughs> How do you keep this place quiet? Carefully. It's not advertising what we have, saying off the radio. House of worship, multi-faith. off the radio. School. You draw power from a dam. Got that working a couple years ago. This place actually <clears throat> fucking works. Oh, got the sheep. Hey, Joe, check it. <laughs> <laughs> They're in more lots. Time. <laughs> Gators. Yeah. Doesn't seem like you age much. On the outside. Yeah. You on the other hand. <laughs> Thanks for still giving a shit about me. Pretty decent setup. So how's Tess? She's fine. All right. Good then. <clears throat> and the kid? She's the daughter of some firefly muckety muck, trying to find her family somewhere out here. I was heading in this direction, so... Really? Mm -hmm. Goodness of your heart. There's a payment. It's not exactly an easy trip. It'll be easy for us. Yeah, I can't go. Oh, come on. <laughs> what, because your wife won't let you? No. She the one who kept you off the radio? Is that why you stopped messaging me back? After I ditched the Fireflies, Marie and her crew found me. They're very protective of this place. And for good fucking reason. I mean, folks find out we're up here... No, I heard. Wrong people might show up. So is that what I am? We murdered people. And I don't judge you for it. If you knew the shit that I've been through, Tommy, trying to find you these last few months... I'm gonna be a father. Maria's a few months along now. So I just gotta be more careful. To be honest, I'm scared to death. But I don't know why. I feel like I'd be a good dad. Guess we'll find out. Oh, Uncle Joel. I guess we'll find out. That's all you got? What else am I supposed to say? Just because life stopped for you doesn't mean it has to stop for me. That's sad. A little less physical than in the game. I don't remember. Ted. He straight, like, pushes Tommy against the wall in the game. What are they doing here? Is he actually having something going on with his heart, or is he just having these like mild panic attacks? I think it's his heart. Yeah. Oh. Oh, that sucks. Oh no, don't. Damn. Just get new boots. They're going down to Walmart, bro. I said I might so, find you here. Look at that. I shouldn't have said what I said. I know you're happy for me. You just it's complicated for you. I'm sorry. See, let me off the hook or what? This ride to the university is it a suicide mission? No. What is this? She's immune. Damn. What? Tommy, I saw her get bit myself. That was months ago. Months. From the beginning. Tess got bit. She made me swear to take the kid. We made it as far as KC. You know, she saved my life there. Five years ago, I would have destroyed him. But she had to shoot him to save me. Because I was too slow and too fucking deaf to hear him coming. And today I thought that dog was going to tear her apart because it smelled something on her. And all I did was stand there. I was so afraid. He didn't seem panicked. Damn. You think I can still handle Easy. things, but... Lately there are these moments where the fear comes up out of nowhere and... Oh, it's panic my heart. attacks. That's yeah. what I was saying. It feels like it's a I didn't even think about that. <laughs> <laughs> None of us did. <laughs> It's a impactful moment. <laughs> Every night, 
I just know that when I wake up, I've lost something. I'm Damn. failing in my sleep. You want me to take her? I'm just going to get her killed, I know it. Well, here's your chance to bring your kid into a better world. You have to take her. Take her together. It's the last thing I'll ever ask of you. I'll take her out at dawn. Poor choice of words. <laughs> I'll Pedro. take her out. I'm going real quick. Pedro okay. Pascal did a damn good job. Yeah, right he there. did. Bro. I wasn't expecting to see him get this emotional. Yeah, I know. In this episode, did like, a damn good job. Now, now I really, I don't know what the episode name might be. Yeah, probably Pedro Pastel. <laughs> Jason, I hate you, but that wasn't the worst one you've ever done, so I can't <laughs> get that mad. <laughs> yeah, it was pretty bad. Pedro Pastel. Pedro Pastel tramp stamp. <laughs> oh, yeah. man. Oh, boy. <laughs> pastel colors of Pedro from Napoleon Dynamite on someone's lower back. I hope that that becomes a running joke in, like, two years from now, whenever we're, you know, big on YouTube and have, like, an actual following and everything. <laughs> <laughs> we do, like, a weird, like, Halloween special video, and then we're, like, revealing our costumes, and one of us turns around, and we have a fake... Pedro tramp Pastel, stamp, bro. A Pedro. Pedro Pastel tramp stamp, <laughs> and see who remembers the joke. <laughs> you know? uh, That'd be perfect, bro. If we're not canceled by then, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I hope this is the conversation. The birds and the bees. No, um, <laughs> sorry, but a very good scene in the game. Yeah. Is this really all they had to worry about? It is! Boys. This is directly ripped from the game. It's bizarre. Because I even when I saw that little little nook to sit on, Listen, I said, uh, oh, because I was like, that's the one where she sits down and is reading. I came here to talk to you. No, why are you still here? If you're going to ditch me, ditch me. Bay window. Oh. He knows the area better than I do. Do you right? give a shit about me or not? Of course I do. Then what are you so afraid of? I'm not her, you know. Maria told me about Sarah and... No. Don't say another word. You have no idea what loss is. Everybody I have cared for has either died or left me. Everybody fucking except for you! So don't tell me that I'd be safe with somebody else because the truth is I would just be more scared. Directly from the game. <laughs> You're right. You're not my daughter. And I sure as hell ain't your dad. And some flashbacks. And some flashbacks. I mean, to, just hand some. To Christmas with Sarah. I wonder how long he goes in between letting himself actually think about her. Probably a long time. What's even more sad is he probably doesn't even remember what she looks like. I mean, it just showed her. <laughs> <laughs> just showed him picture of her. <laughs> I mean, realistically, like, unless he had, like, a picture of her, you know, faces do fade usually in memories, they say. So, yeah. I came here to steal one of these horses and go. I would have gave you one. I know. I wanted to steal it. It was 30 minutes ago, <laughs> and I guess I still think you'd be better off with Tommy. Let's go. <laughs> or you just both go. I know. It's right off the interstate. Should be hard to miss. I-25 is right off the interstate. <laughs> <laughs> There's a place for you here. Both of you. I count on it. Adios, big brother. And he's teaching you to You're flinching. The target's too small. I made it bigger than I should have. Rifle just sucks. Okay, give it. Hold breath. 
But he shoots like way far right. You gotta make sure that shit's dialed in and everything. Gotta count for wind and whatnot. You squeeze the trigger like you're shooting. Gentle, steady, nice and slow. You gonna shoot this thing or get it pregnant? Maybe both. It doesn't work. It doesn't aim right. You dick. We were called contractors. That's pretty cool. Yeah, we were cool. Everybody loved contractors. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I did have a couple good contractors. There was one guy who would always come out and wor uh, work. He never had to, but he did. It was kind of cool. That's cool. Well, how about that? Made it in five days. Easy days. I don't know what Tommy was so afraid of. Still time to find out. Still time to find <coughs> out. The contractor. That'd be terrifying because <laughs> there's nothing to hide. Yeah. Like you could see them coming from a mile away. Just hide behind the horse. <laughs> I don't want a sheep ranch, actually. I mean, if the deal is I can do anything. That's the deal. Well. Be a country singer. When I was a kid, I wanted to be a singer. <laughs> <laughs> we could all relate. Why is that funny? <laughs> You gotta sing something now. No. Well, you're singing for me later. Fair enough. Oh, no. Guard stations. Hmm. No guards. Yeah. For a second, I thought he wasn't gonna tie it off. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, what are you doing? Could you? That, okay. That, that'll hold a horse. <laughs> he or, said. Yeah. Maybe he was just waiting for his gloves to yeah. be off. But no, with that horse, with that rain like that, unless something scares it, it'll starve to death with it just like that. They'll never... Unless a zombie comes running out. <laughs> yeah. There are definitely doctors here. Definitely a doctor. The key word is were. Or as Jason would say, was. Was. I said there's no more making fun of Jason today, okay? <laughs> something to make before moving. They just left. But what if they just write? Maybe not all of them. What if they just wrong? <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm But I'm pretty sure in the game it was just other like monkeys that were still in there, still making all this noise. Yeah. Until are they jumping on the bed? <laughs> yep, monkey. Look at them. Oh, look at the monkeys. All the pins lead there. Maybe getting ahead of the weather. Uh oh. There's not enough time left. That might right? be the that might be the cliffhanger. He said, "Good question. Shut the fuck up." <laughs> it's like the Walking Dead bad lip reading. He says, "Knock knock." She says, "Who's there? Why don't you the zip it?" Yeah. Okay. So what? Are we not getting the rebar? <laughs> Just the bar, not the rebar. Oh. 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 Choke him out. Break his neck. Oh. oh, he got stabbed. No. Wow, okay. Don't do that. That is the... A little bit. We're not falling. S small change. I think we're safe. <laughs> Joe? Is this gonna be him Joe? falling off and. Yeah. Joe, no, no, no! Shit! Joe, you gotta get up. I don't know where the fuck I'm going. What the fuck I'm gonna do? Joe! They don't really play into it, like, bro, oh, bro. <laughs> yeah. The music and, yeah. Because it's I, because I keep failing her. I right. hope he never lets me down again. Uh, all right. Him, all right. I don't like that. That change was something. That's my first real, not positive thing. Dude, when that when Joe falls, 
And he, <clears throat> you realize he fell on that rebar in the game. Mm-hmm. It's 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 a huge what the fuck moment. And then we huge. get the the gross out moment of having to pull him off the rebar, mm-hmm. and then we have that whole crazy ass scene of like being from his perspective. Everything's going blurry in and out, trying to stumble your way out. Yeah. Add so much more suspense, and Ellie's the one that's having to like lead you through it. That would have been really cool to see. Yeah, and yeah. I would have really liked to have seen that. Um, yeah, I mean, I guess. I guess it's hard to realistically, because Ellie's just now learning how to shoot. Mm -hmm. So now they only had like five men in this um, this scene. Mm -hmm. In the game, there was like (laughs) thirty. Yeah. So I I, I guess (laughs) in the first wave, I guess it wouldn't be realistic if since Ellie's just now learning how to shoot, if she was able to take on that many people Mm -hmm. by herself with Joel like almost incapacitated. So I but, kind of get it, but I don't like it. But here's yeah, the thing. I mean, they like, all, they, none of them had guns, though. They all had bats yeah. right here. And then my, my thing oh, is, yeah, yeah. this is why I say it would be nice for them to, to stretch this out. Because, like, you could have had an entire episode dedicated to Tommy and his people. Yeah. Then the next episode starts with them getting to the university, figuring some shit out. Then the rebar shit happens, and then the rest of the episode is literally them trying to get away from five people. Right. It could yeah. be a cat and mouse through the and, university uh, trying it, to get it, out. Like cutting and, to like showing them, and then kind of from Joel's perspective, <clears throat> with yeah, like the yeah. blurry and disoriented. And in the game, you finished defeating everyone, and then he falls on the rebar, right? right? No, no. It, it's during the, the fight. Couple people? Because after, um, after he falls on the rebar, you still have a few people you got to fight through yeah, to okay, get out. Okay. Well, it, they could have they could have made it to where they were up on a higher uh, floor. They kill everybody, so they win. <clears throat> There's no more enemies, and then like maybe the floor gives out or something, and he falls on the rebar. They could have still done it. Anything, yeah, literally anything could have been. Because this possible. one was just really anticlimactic. Yeah, I mean, we still it, got him fighting. It's just all of a sudden it's like, oh, I've been stabbed. Yeah, it was like yeah. sudden, but also drawn out. Yeah. That part, yeah. You know what you need to do? It, it wasn't impactful enough. Take the take the shot of her looking down and seeing it, and then him seeing that he stabbed, and then put Olaf going, Oh, look, I've been impaled. <laughs> <laughs> that would, Pe- people that would probably be hate funny, it, but... but I don't think people would like that. <laughs> you know, um, uh, when this scene happens, just yeah. instead of putting from the show, just include the whole thing from the game. <laughs> yeah, just show him yeah, getting yeah. impaled yeah, in the game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I That's mean... a better idea. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, I, yeah, I... Uh, now, I don't know the actor's name. Pedro Pascal. Ellie. Ellie. <laughs> Ellie did a good job right there. Yeah. So, Pedro Pascal did a great job when he was, you know, confiding in Tommy. Oh, yeah. And then right there, she did a great job. I like how she starts to get, like, really quiet and, like, whispers, like, I can't do this without you. Mm-hmm. So... I mean, it was very emotional. It was very good. Um, so I like that part, but I don't like... And it's so funny, because like we, so they've changed a decent amount, and we've been okay with everything that they've changed. But this one change... Yeah, I guess it just struck me the wrong way. That, that, that part of the game is just like... Yeah, dude. It's what the fuck! Like Straight he's not gonna, shock. He's not going to live from this. Yeah. It's funny because the show was doing something at first that I was totally fine with, and then the exact moment where it swapped to starting to change things that I was like, hmm. Uh, I liked the way they handled that conversation with Joel and Ellie whenever she was in the room. Because like in the game, she runs off, steals a horse, you have to go track her down, yeah. find her, have this conversation, and then you're interrupted by people coming to try and kill you. Right. Because that's yeah. how the game works. In this, I liked that it was just a natural conversation that happened. But what I didn't like was the way that Joel changed his mind. Because in the game, it's very subtle. Tommy. Yeah. But, like, but, Tommy's like, okay, well, we're going to do this and this. And then Joel was like, all right, well, <clears throat> Ellie, come on. We're going over here. And, like, just kind of is just ready to go. And Tommy is even like, what are you doing? Like, yeah. Joel but, doesn't say, oh, by the way. You have a choice. Yeah. Right. He just kind of says, oh, no, we're still doing this. I'm, I've changed my mind, basically. Without saying it. And I, I thought that was a bit more impactful than the way they did it here. Yeah. 
one thing that's been different about the show itself is that so far its formula has been let's make you as depressed as possible at the end so yes. that you can't talk about it. And I mean, yes. technically that could have been the case here if you didn't know, <laughs> you know. Um, uh, well, they changed one thing, bro. Yeah. If that they would have <laughs> made it how the game was, I guarantee you it'd be way more impactful. Yeah. Now, they did have some really depressing moments in here. Yeah. Joel's talk with uh, Tommy, that was really sad. Yeah. Then him having the flashbacks of Sarah, that was really fucking sad. And his fight with Ellie. Yeah. Sad. So there was a lot of sadness, but nothing that was like, oh my God, mm, yeah. I want to... Uh, 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 because uh, poor Ellie, she already sees Joel as a father figure. <clears throat> oh, bro, and he Joel, said, and I'm sure as hell not your dad. And mm-hmm. Joel sees her as a daughter oh, as yeah. well, but he's just too scared to admit it. One slight thing that I do really like that they added in here was at the beginning of that conversation where she says, do you give a shit about me or not? And he says, of course I do. Because that doesn't happen in the game. Yeah. Right. Of course I do. But he said it like sternly, but also in like a mm-hmm. like a matter of fact, like, yes, You I already do. know this. Like, right. you know that I care. Like, yeah. I mean. And then him seeing um, that girl. Had it, the similar hair. Yes, with the similar hair. Yeah. I was like, oh, man. You know what would have been really messed up? Hmm. If they had the same actress who was who played his daughter play that girl that he sees and just changed her a little bit. Yeah. That would have been really like shaved her eyebrows off. <laughs> no. well, like whenever I first saw the hair, I was like, I if they hadn't had her turn around, I was gonna be like, I wonder if they even just had the actual actress there just playing yeah. that part. Cause that would have been cool. Yes, it would have. Um what I think is interesting is that the aspect of these panic attacks that Joel's having. Yep. It's a sign that he's actually caring more for Ellie because he's said that it's fear that's crawling up. He hasn't been scared this entire time, pretty much, like since the very beginning. But now he has a reason to be scared mm-hmm. because right. he said he's failing. He's failing her every time he turns around. And he's scared of, like, it's not that he's like, oh, I need to save the world by getting her there. It's I need to protect her. Like, yep. He's, he said, I'm going to be the death of her or I'm going to get her killed or something like that. Mm-hmm. So that's interesting. Our Joel is finally letting himself feel. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And as soon as he starts letting himself feel, he feels a baseball bat going through his stomach. Yep. That sucks. Yeah. So sucks. we had Tara from True Blood. That was cool. Yeah, yeah that was but really it was cool. different. It was yeah. It was ah. Uh, yeah, it was just something yeah. was not right. Because I'm expecting voice. Tara. Yeah, you're expecting yeah. Tara. A specific that, accent, yes, and like somewhat deeper voice, yeah. But no, you get um, Maria's voice in this, mm-hmm. and you're like, "Where's the accent?" Yeah, where's Tara? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> they didn't have the budget for a southern accent. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no. Were they still in Wyoming in this episode? I don't know. Um, it's a five day travel. I would assume so. Yeah. They so, were going pretty slow. Maybe they're in Minnesota. Which obvi- <laughs> obviously. Oh wait, bro. Huh? They said the name of the the college. What was the name of the college? Uh, Southern Colorado. They were in Colorado. Well, they ended up going to Colorado. I was wondering if Tommy's place is in. Wyoming. Oh yeah, for sure. Uh, it was it, it was on the Canadian border. For it sure. looked like fucking from pictures that I've seen and everything. I was like, that looks like it could be. Yeah. Uh, it looked Wyoming. like it was like North Wyoming. Yeah. So. Then I and it, it could be just a whole amalgamation of people that are there, but I was like, "What does the Wyoming accent sound like?" The only person I mean, that I know from there, I don't even think I recognize an accent from them. Yeah, it's so, pretty much no accent. Yeah, like pretty much every word they say is like all of the no accent words that everyone else says. <laughs> yeah, so like we all have certain things that we say that you're like, "Oh, yeah. that was not." That had an accent. No. Which makes they me... They don't have any words. No. Very confused. Because there's a lot of states that don't really have much of an accent. Mm-hmm. Like, you have some southern states that have, you know, that southern twang and shit. Yeah, right. And then you got the the Boston people up there. <laughs> mm. Those those Bostons. They're from... Or yes. New Yorkers. Those would be Bostonians. And then the Minnesota. <laughs> yeah, Chucky. You know, there's those, those people... Oh. But then you don't really have many more accents. Don't you know? Don't you know? Oh, you betcha, bud. (laughs) 
<laughs> See, don't they don't really but but think about how large the United States is. This yep. man said turkey. <laughs> <laughs> and the reason why the reason why is I had a professor at Pensacola. Oh, State College, okay? <laughs> he was like, oh no, they can't know where we're from. It's in our name. <laughs> I know, I know. I had a professor at Pensacola State College, and and she was from up north, and I was late for class one day, and I didn't show up with the book, and she's like, she is, we, me why and, did this like weird accent start coming out mid-sentence here? <laughs> I know. <laughs> and I started showing up, but I didn't have a book. <laughs> yeah. And then me and another person walked in, and she looks at us, she goes, do y'all have a book? I'm like, no. She's like, She's like, look at these tuckies. <laughs> these Was she tuck- from Chicago? I, d- I don't know. And then she also she also said idea. Instead of idea, she says idea. Well, that's that sounds southern. Yeah, I was gonna say that's like no, old it's southern. It's up north. That's like old southern. She's from yeah. up north. She maybe her dad's from like Georgia and her mom's from Chicago. Could be. <laughs> but, yeah. Chicago. A dog. Yeah. I'm trying to remember where the one math teacher I had was from, but she was somewhere up north. And um, oh god, where is it? Where they say "bag"? Oh, for a Wisconsin. Bag. Wisconsin. Uh-huh. Yeah. A bag yeah. of bagels. <laughs> uh, yeah, a bag Bro. of bagels. And I was like, <laughs> Allie says "bag" all the time. <laughs> I was like, first off, how are you going to oh just swap gosh. the A's like that? What an A for an E, bro. Yeah, um, a big. We ain't got no sodi pop down here in fucking. Florida either. Let me tell you something. Any if you if you say pop, when you talking about soda? Okay, so a we lot got of a people problem. in Wisconsin say soda, but a lot of people in yeah. other Midwestern say, say pop. Oh say pop, God, yeah. what do they call That's buggies? So gross. Up north. Shopping carts. Oh, carts. Yeah. Yeah, but there's another word for it too, right? I don't know. I just know shopping cart, and then we say buggy. Yeah, yeah. they're buggies. <laughs> yeah. That's the thing. Like buggy is like my thing. Yeah. Well, it's like um. So with soda and pop, you know, whenever I was initially growing up, whenever I lived in East Milton, Coke, everything was Coke. Yep, yep. everything was Coke. I remember. Whether I remember it's Mountain Dew. <laughs> yeah, Dude, go I, get me a Coke. <laughs> I remember being. Um, I remember going to uh, Skate War, Skate Land, Skate World, skate or Skate War. <laughs> and um, I, I walk up to the counter. I go, uh, "Can I get a Coke?" But I wanted Mountain Dew, <laughs> but I said Coke. Because I called everything Coke. Because I was, I want, I want, I was waiting for. You them knew to, which Coke you wanted. I, I was waiting for them to say which, which Coke. <laughs> yeah. And they gave me Coke, and I'm like, I wanted Mountain Dew. <laughs> they said, Why did? Have why you ever didn't been you say that? <laughs> what? Said so, you ever been kicked out of a skateland? <laughs> I asked for no onion. <laughs> So it didn't come with onion. You asked for onion. You add, so you added, you added the onion. So so yes, I did the same thing growing up, and it was very difficult for people who didn't do that. <laughs> yeah, I mean, eventually, like whenever we moved in with my uh, stepdad, but I just call him dad. <laughs> um, that's where it, it, we learned yeah. it's soda. It's like whenever, um, and I found out that this wasn't just a, a my family thing. Eventually, but. Uh, Ramen, not yeah. Raymond. Yeah, when I was really little, it was Raymond. Yep. Noodles. Raymond noodles. What we said. That's what my sister still says. Really, to this day is Raymond. Yeah. yeah. I found out that other people said it, and I was like, "Yo, okay, I wasn't the only stupid one." <laughs> like, you know. Yep. We yeah. always say Raymond. Um, and I guess that stems from the still on the the Coke thing. I guess it stems growing up when we wanted something to drink and there was sodas in there. I would say, "Hey, mom, can I have a Coke?" No yeah. matter what soda was in yep. there, it's like, "Hey, mom, can I have a Coke?" And she said yes, and I'd, I'd get it. So that's why everything was coke to me. Yeah, it was the same way with me. I'm just glad that we have grits. <laughs> <laughs> and, and who puts sugar in their spaghetti, bro? See, me. now we're on a whole what? other. Now we're on you a whole... always do a spoonful of sp- <laughs> uh, sugar in your spaghetti sauce, always. <laughs> but another thing that it's weird about Ohio is that when you have chili, you eat it with a peanut butter sandwich. Only in certain parts what? where I'm from, yep, Adams County, do you eat chili? You also have a peanut butter sandwich. I'm leaving all Not that. even peanut butter and jelly, just peanut butter. Just, yeah. just peanut butter sandwich, yeah. yeah and exactly. that's the thing is that I love peanut butter sandwiches. Me too, yeah. dude. Not, the thing is, I would prefer just a peanut butter sandwich over, over a peanut, peanut butter and jelly. Yes, yes me too. And I'll uh, eat, I'll eat smooth, uh, smooth. I'll eat cre- uh, what? There's I'll no eat such thing. Creamy and crunchy. I'll eat fucking any. So I butter, prefer bro. creamy, Dude. but I can deal with crunchy. I'd be like a dog. 
You just said it. That was straight up Chicago. Okay. You, know what you, you know what you do? You sit there with a glass of milk. When was the last time you had chocolate just milk? Just going to shun a national treasure like that. Whatever. All right, fellas. Um, this is the end of the video. <laughs> uh, this is being really long, and I'm going to have to render it all is, of this. It is being really it's long. It's being <laughs> very long. That's so I really hope you enjoyed. Yep. What should they do real fast now that they're at the end of the video? Go get a Coke, and and after you're done getting a Coke, whatever kind you like. Uh, Isn't it weird that like if we're talking about height versus width that determines whether it's long or tall <laughs> but it's still <laughs> but either way it's it's short either way it's always going to be short if I'm it's trying to end isn't the that, video isn't that a, isn't that weird <laughs> i still have to go get the hard drive i'm trying to end it uh, but all i'm saying is acknowledge that that's kind of weird it is very weird it's either tall <laughs> it's tall or it's long but no matter what it's short Right. Either way, if it's if it's smaller, it's short. Why Whether is short? Why is being short so diverse? I'm gonna go well, in the video, it's please. <laughs> versatile. Yes. Really. Yes, it can go yeah. vertical and horizontal. That's right. Everybody, if you like this video, please like this video, comment on this video, and subscribe all over our page. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs>